Hi everyone, my name is Julia and I'm an educator at the Columbia River Maritime Museum. Today's Ed Talk is all about Sailor's Valentines. Put simply, Sailor's Valentines were souvenirs. They were gifts that sailors would bring to their friends and family to show them how much they had been thinking about them during their voyages. Most Valentines were mosaics made up of hundreds of different types of shells. These shells were designed in beautiful patterns with flowers, hearts, anchors, or other nautical symbols. A common misconception is that sailors made their own valentines, but it turns out that isn't really the case. Sailors' valentines were more like last-minute airport gift shop purchases. A lot of sailors would make stops on their journeys to the West Indies, particularly the island of Barbados. While their ships were being repaired and their supplies were replenished, sailors would wander their way through curiosity shops to buy valentines for their friends and family. These curiosity shops and their valentines eventually made their way all around the world, with one famous example being Marcus Samuel and his antique store in England. Marcus Samuel filled his antique store with valentines from the shell company in Barbados. When he died, his sons, Marcus Samuel Jr. and Samuel Samuel, took over the business, and they decided to start investing their money in fossil fuels. Inspired by the origins of their father's antique store, their business quickly transformed into the Shell Oil Company. Sailor's Valentines are a symbol of a sailor's connections to home, to their friends and family. These mosaics are a beautiful way to show someone that you care about them, and not just on Valentine's Day. So that's all for me about Sailor's Valentines. We hope to see you again for the Columbia River Maritime Museum's online ed talks. Thanks for watching.